Today we meet luxury home buyer Stephanie. Hey you guys. Hello. I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm Tiffany. Tiffany. She's a mother of three who's looking to upgrade the family home. Our budget is three million. I'm hoping to stay under that, but if we found the right house, then we'd be happy to stretch it. She's about to see three amazing properties in Villa Park, California with her best friend. Which of these luxury homes will seal the deal? Which one did you choose? Stephanie will make the big decision. We are going to go with... Stay tuned. <music> Stephanie's looking for a house for herself, her husband, and her three children. We're coming from Newport Beach and it's wonderful, but it's small and it's tight. And so we're looking for space, for a safe neighborhood, good schools. The best part, she brought along her best friend, Tiffany, to help her with her house hunting. I'm just very blunt, I give my honest opinions and she's much nicer than I am. So she was the perfect person to come home shopping with me because I know that she'll give me, you know, the real deal. So. I'm gonna show her three houses here in Villa Park in Southern California. Let's see which one she chooses for her family. We are in Villa Park, California. Villa Park is located in between Anaheim Hills and the city of Orange. To put it in perspective, about 12 miles from the beach at eight miles from Disneyland. So it's a great family neighborhood for large families, families who like to entertain. It's a custom built hacienda. So this beautiful home is five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and almost 7,000 square feet of living. And to top that all off, it has a fantastic view. It I, sure does. I think this home has everything a buyer would be looking for. Yeah, we're gonna show her the best that Villa Park has to offer today. Hey, you guys. Hello. I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm Tiffany. Tiffany, okay, so I understand you are the best friend. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you brought I'm some the buyer. My husband is traveling in Tokyo right now, so um, I'm picking the house. I'm very excited. I wanna look and find the perfect place for our family. Um, I brought my best friend. <laughs> I love this. Hopefully I can help her like, you know, make some decisions. Yes, and I have more. three children, so you know, they're young. They're four, three, and one. Okay. So I'm looking for some space. I need um, two dogs. Two dogs, right. some entertaining space, preferably a cul-de-sac, okay. a family neighborhood, somewhere safe. It would be wonderful to have a pool or some kind of a yard for the kids. Awesome, okay, so I think I have my work cut out for me today. Yeah. Because <laughs> not only do I have to please you, but your husband and your bestie. <laughs> I'm yes. probably the pickiest out of all of them. <laughs> oh, that's right. true, actually, that is true. <laughs> okay, well this is kind of the best friend to have, right? Because honesty is key here when looking for a house, right? She is. Sometimes, sometimes a little too honest. But... Awesome, okay. <laughs> I promise you today you are gonna see three of the most amazing houses, all of which I think you're actually gonna love. Obviously, you're in the Villa Park area, so you mentioned that you have three kids. Yes. School system is amazing. Yes. And there's tons of private schools as well. So no worries about the school system here. Okay. Coming from a small beach beach sized house in Newport Beach. So this is amazing. Okay. 7,000 yeah. square feet. That would be awesome. I'm gonna <laughs> blow your mind. And as you saw coming up here, you mentioned cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. This house is on a cul-de-sac, which is great, especially for kids, it's right? Perfect. That's perfect. Our budget is three million. I'm hoping to stay under that, but if we found the right house, then we'd be happy to stretch it a little bit. Yeah. This is a Spanish style hacienda, five bedrooms, seven bathrooms. Wow. It's almost 7,000 square feet. That's huge. And That's the massive. best part is as soon as you walk through these doors. Come on into this house. Right. So when you walk through this courtyard here, as you can see to the right is this gorgeous pool, but I will show you that later. I love it already. <laughs> Good. That is beautiful. Good, so come on into the house here. As I mentioned, it's Spanish style. So you have the lath and plaster walls that were all done by hand. So this isn't even drywall, which oh, wow. is fantastic. As you can see, the kitchen is over to your left, but right here you have your dining space right in front of us as soon as you walk through the door. And then of course you have a living room and then you have a second living room on the opposite side of that. You walk in, it's elegant. There's this incredible view out the backyard. There's a lot of space mm -hmm. and there's a lot of room. I like that a lot. So this oh, is your wow. kitchen. It is an amazing size, right? It's beautiful. Look at that view. Kitchen's incredible. 
It's large. The view is amazing. Yeah. I could definitely see all of the kids sitting along the counter. We might even cook in a kitchen like that. So. I, it's kind of inspiring. It makes yeah. me want to work on my cooking. This island is huge. It's really pretty. And you're right, you notice it has two islands in the space. Yeah. So, you know, everybody wants to be in the kitchen. The cool part is they can hang around this island and then they go over to that island and hang around that. So it's actually yeah. two. It's so big this kitchen is. That's two perfect islands. for a party. You can have food on one and have people talking. Be cooking or have drinks or party favors or something. This house has a kitchen everybody would love to throw a party in. It is a chef's dream. And you also have a second dining space over there. So, the, you know, you have so much space in here that the kids can dine over here. This could kind of be where they have the breakfast and then the formal dining can happen in the other space. This is kind of weird so. though. Would you put a picture here yeah, or something? Could. You certainly could. Some kind of pers personalization, you like could. maybe a photo or just kind of, I guess they're supposed to look like we're in Tuscany maybe or something. I look around and I'm like, I could be anywhere in Europe. I think it's, I think it's absolutely fantastic. So. I do too. Here's your oh, master. Oh, wow. wow this, is really nice. this is so beautiful. It has a balcony <gasps> and everything. Look at the fireplace, it's huge. I like the French doors. Mm -hmm. And I love the wood beam ceilings. Yeah. So this just feels comfortable, it feels cozy, it feels charming. You have shutters, you have these beautiful windows, of course, the exposed beams on the ceiling, the gorgeous fireplace, your own private balcony. I mean, you can't oh, argue wait. in this space and no, it's it so looks like comfortable. a resort. Yeah. I mean, the windows, you don't get I know. this many I windows in a master bedroom. I love the windows. I love them. They're beautiful. And the style and the wood yeah. is incredible. Yeah, but the best part about this is actually the three bedroom closet that is around the corner through your master bath. Okay, okay I'm gonna move in here now. This can just is leave incredible. Me. I need to go shopping to fill that closet. Is what I don't, so <laughs> is what I'll take happen. this one. <laughs> this is a dream closet. It really is. I wanna move in here right now. The courtyard is to die for amazing. So let's go outside. I have to okay. show you all the outside features as well. Now the reason why this house is called a Spanish Hacienda is because it was built, honestly, if you could see it, it was built around this courtyard here with this magnificent pool. Really I good. love this. I know. It's so peaceful and beautiful. Is that a waterfall? Is that part of the pool? It's so beautiful. There's that patio, yeah. being able to sit outside, have coffee on the porch. I love that. It's very relaxing and intimate and it makes you feel like you're kind of escaping from everything. So. Can't you imagine bringing your kids yeah. and having a pool party, having Absolutely. a barbecue out here, all of them splashing and playing? Yes. I'll be sitting there with my margarita. This house actually, five bedrooms, seven bathrooms. You have this fantastic pool. You have a kid's playhouse, a gorgeous view out the back. Yes. You have a wine cellar. You have a winding staircase up there. You have a three bedroom closet, which is awesome. I really think this house has everything that you would need for your kids, but is it best friend approved? I really like it <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I do. I think I I like it a lot. So with that said, how much do you guys think that this house costs? Your budget's three million. This is probably I'd three say million. Three. Yeah, it's probably I'd say about around three. Well, more. it's actually not. It's almost two two. Oh. Two million one hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars. So you have extra room in your budget. No okay, that's amazing. Good. That's my husband house. would be very happy to hear that. <laughs> okay, good. Because we have to please the husband too. We have to please. Forget the her. Husband. I'll take it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah. Here's the deal. This is just house one. Okay. Okay. Let's go to house two, and I want to hear what your thoughts are about okay. that. Okay. Oh, I don't want to give my approval too soon because I want to see the other houses that we're going to be looking at. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see if it's best you approved. Okay. okay. <laughs> We have two more homes left to see on this million dollar house hunt. First, we check out the six bedroom custom estate on one of the most desirable cul-de-sacs in Villa Park. Then we delve into this five bedroom beauty complete with a great outdoor living space. Will either of these properties seal the deal? Stay tuned. Welcome back. Here's your oh, master. Wow. We're on the house hunt for the ultimate luxury home with our buyer, Stephanie, and her best friend. So my husband is in Tokyo. He works at a medical device company, and he does have to travel some, so he was not available to come with me, but I'm here to pick out our new home. Yeah. And I have the best person here with me, so. 
first home was a five bedroom custom estate with spectacular views and a resort like feel. Our next home is a six bedroom custom estate with a great outdoor living space. Could this next house be the one? Our house number two is located at uh, one of the highest points in the city and it has probably one of the most spectacular views I've ever seen in this city. This home has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, just over 6,100 square feet. There is a outdoor fireplace for entertaining. It's just beautiful. If you enjoy the outdoor lifestyle, then this is a perfect home. Okay, you guys, house number two. Now, as you can see, it's different than the first house. Yes. This house has a gorgeous exterior. So you're feeling the vibe here. This is definitely, I think, more of both of our styles. This house is actually five bedrooms, six bathrooms, about 6,300 square feet. It is spectacular. Head through those doors and I'll show you the inside. What do you think? I love the chandelier, but I love chandeliers. It's incredible. And the staircase? Yeah. The ceilings are just vaulted. All the molding, all the detail. It just feels so peaceful and refreshing. Everything is light. As you walk down this hall here, this is the space that I think you'll enjoy the most. Wow. That view. Okay, it's even bigger than the last view we saw. I like this better. It's beautiful. It's actually, light and bright. Can't you imagine the kids running around here and playing? The kitchen. Oh, come into the kitchen. Let me show you. Oh my goodness. I love the coloring in here. The little pops of teal and green. Do you like that? I, I love do. It. I like the wood a lot in here. I just, it feels a little more cohesive and I like how you have kind of a panoramic view as you're in the kitchen. Of all the windows, and you can be watching the kids play. Right, you can mm -hmm. see if someone's watching television, you can watch them, you can be cooking, you can go out and see on the patio. While you're at the sink, you could even look out to the garden, there's yeah. roses. The detail, the tile work, the wood cabinet. The marble was beautiful, the wood was just really well done. The fact that you can look out and see the view. You know, the island seems like it's a little bit lower. It's perfect for my kids. Yeah. Um, they can actually stand here and eat and play and help me cook. And then over here, you actually have your living room space. Now this has more of an open concept. So the kids could be watching TV, they could be hanging out, the family could be gathering here, and you could still be in the kitchen or the dining room and everybody can kind of be together. So the I like that. The view is amazing. Yeah. I actually really like how open this is. Right, I feel especially like we with could kids. See that way you can look down the hallway and you can mm -hmm. see where everyone is. You're not having to go into separate rooms to find the dogs or the kids. Yeah. master. Again, if you love those views downstairs, you get the same views up here. Yeah. Maybe even better up here. Yeah, you're even higher <laughs> up, right? And you feel a little more removed because you don't have anyone else around. Yeah, it almost feels like you are on top of Orange County. Yes. Like you're floating on top of Orange yes. County up here. Is that right. a double balcony? It is. So the balcony actually wraps around over this way and then wraps around again this over here. French doors that open up right there. And the ceilings outside. are vaulted and with so much detail. And the fireplace. You actually get your own fireplace right here. And what I like about- Those romantic evenings. <laughs> yes. What I like about the space too is that the bathroom is separated from the master. You get the soaking tub, you get the gorgeous shower, you get all the classic details. It's really bright and airy. Good. It? Yeah. It's really, really beautiful. Awesome. So why don't we go outside and I'll show you the outside area. Okay. This is the outdoor patio of which you get the gorgeous views. It's so pretty. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it a lot. I can imagine birthday parties. I feel like the dogs would love to run yes. around back there. Barbecuing. Um, it seems like the perfect entertaining spot, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so here's the deal with this house. The other house had a pool. I have to be honest, this house does not have a pool. Okay. We did like the idea of a pool. Is there space to put in a pool in this yard? There is a space to put, and they actually had a pool at one time, but they did fill it in. I think the most important part is that there's room for a pool, mm -hmm. and that there are options. And honestly, with little kids, it might be better not to have a pool for a Until few years anyway. Older. 
though. Yeah. But what it does have, which her husband may be very excited about, is it actually has a six car garage that could be converted to a 10 car garage. Six cars? Six cars. And it's so tall that you could get a hydraulic lift and actually get 10 cars in there. I love this house. <laughs> Five bedrooms, six baths, 6,300 square feet. How much do you think, in comparison to the other house, that this house actually costs? I like this house better, which must mean it's more expensive. I'm worried it's over three, but <laughs> so let's just take a guess. Okay, I'll say three five. Three, three five? five? It's three three. Okay, three, three. okay. okay. <laughs> the price. <laughs> so it's a little bit more than our budget. So we definitely would have to look at that and look at the numbers. Why don't I show you the third house and then you guys can make your decision from there. Okay. Okay. All right, perfect. Come with me. There's only one more luxury home left to see on this million dollar house hunt. The last home is a five bedroom property that showcases one impressive home theater. This address is sure to impress. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We've seen two amazing homes so far on this million dollar house hunt in Villa Park, California with our buyer, Stephanie, and her best friend. I'm just very blunt, I give my honest opinions, and she's much nicer than I am. So she was the perfect person to come home shopping with me because I know that she'll give me the real deal. The first home was a five bedroom custom estate with an authentic Spanish feel. The second home was a six bedroom cul-de-sac compound that showcased a beautiful master suite. Our final home is a five bedroom residence with a great outdoor living space. Will this last home be a deal closer? House number three is also in Villa Park, which is just around the corner. At just over 5,600 square feet, this home offers six bedrooms and five baths. This classic California style home has a large kitchen, perfect for entertaining, cooking big meals, fabulous for family gatherings. It's absolutely beautiful. There's even a basketball court there too. Third house. Super exciting. I think your kids are gonna love. We have sport courts, we have a pool, we have a pool table inside. Six bathrooms, five bedrooms, 5,600 square feet. Okay. This home has been newly remodeled in 2006. It has a lot of French details, pretty traditional, but I think you're gonna love this one as well. So you ready to see the third house? Yeah, yeah. Okay. we are okay. so ready. I will follow you guys. Oh, look at that pool table. That's what I'm telling yes. you. Yes, no, my children would go crazy. <laughs> they would love it. I think so too. Now, as you can see, this home, again, is a little bit more formal. First thing you see when you walk in is this very formal living area, okay? So you have that a formal dining area over there as the well. The floors are gorgeous. So then you step into the family space, and then, of course, the kids are going to love the fact that you can put a pool table here. This now, is the perfect playroom. As they get older, we can change it into yeah. more of a formal yeah. dining room. Maybe like a little lounge area, like mm -hmm. add more chairs or something like that. And flow out into the backyard. So immediately, I love that you walk in, you're looking at the open room, right. the yard. Well, come see the kitchen and then I'll take you outside. Okay. This is your kitchen space. Now you have granite countertops, and then you have your high-end appliances. It opens up right here to the backyard, as you can see, and then right around the corners where your formal dining is, the family room. One thing yeah. I love too is the whole backyard is just in one plane. So we could open the doors, let the kids run out and, and play. Exactly you can be cooking are. and watching them. I loved the kitchen, how it was looking at the backyard. That was probably my favorite part of the whole house. So this right here is one of five bedrooms, but it's actually one of two masters. So. Beautiful. Huge. It's huge. And it's on the ground level. Right out the door there, there's a jacuzzi. So, right? It's like perfect. And a fireplace. This I love adorable. it. And a fireplace. And a vanity. A and vanity a and a gigantic makeup. bathroom there. So. This is an incredible space. There's also upstairs is gonna be where your second master is. There's also a home theater up there as well. A home theater? There is a home theater. I wanna buy the house because of the movie theater. You wouldn't have to go out for date night because <laughs> no. you can just go to the theater. We put the kids to bed and then go upstairs and go to our own theater. Yeah, Pop exactly. our popcorn. It would be perfect. Keep Junior Mints in the fridge. Mm -hmm. When I said Let's that your it. kids are gonna yeah. love all yeah. this, I mean <laughs> pool table, home theater. The yard. And wait till you see this. 
Okay, come out here to this fantastic backyard. Okay, you weren't wow. kidding because this is incredible. My kids would go crazy. Tiffany, wouldn't they love it? Yeah. I can already see my son, my daughter running around, my baby crawling on the grass. The yard is phenomenal. We have a seating area here, a seating area over there, a seating area there. You have the pool. You have a sport court that gives you a basketball court and a tennis court. Then you go around this way and you have this gorgeous gazebo over here, which you have a television. And a grill and, and a, a grill. Grill. So this is like an entertaining palace. It's like having a park in our yeah. backyard. I think with each of these houses, they each have something fantastic. You right. know what I mean? The they first do. one had the charm and the Spanish style, which was amazing. The second house was just classic and beautiful. Yes. Um, and then this house, of course, has all the amenities for the kids, yes. which this is to die for. It's amazing. huge. Yeah. So with that said, how much do you think this house costs? I would guess two, one, two, 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 five. Two five. It's two okay. five. So it's not in the lower half of your budget. Yeah. Yes, the price was over our budget. So that definitely is a downside. It's right. more than we're trying to spend. Right. Um which is probably a problem when it comes to husbands putting their approval on it. <laughs> You have a very tough choice to make. I think you guys should chat it over. Okay. okay. Decide what works best for your family. And of course, with your bestie here, that makes it a little bit easier, right? And then I will come back to you guys and you guys let me know which one you pick. Okay. okay. We've seen all three luxury homes on this million dollar house hunt. And when we come back, which one did you choose? Stephanie will make the big decision. We are going to go with. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We've seen all three luxury homes on this million dollar house hunt in Villa Park, California. It's time for Stephanie to make the big decision. Okay, so the first house was beautiful. I don't think in the end that that's really my style, my taste. Right. I think you know that. Yeah, it's very Santa Barbara-y. Yes. It's like a resort. I felt like I was on vacation. It's a little toffee cool. though. Um, the second house, I really love. It's a dream house. We could stay there for the rest of our lives. We could have parties there. You could come over, our kids' birthday parties, everything. Yes. That second house, we drove up and we both said, yeah. wow. The views are incredible. There was a lot of curb appeal. This house, I know my kids would love. It. I think I'm really deciding between the I second house and this yeah. child's fun zone. <laughs> Okay, how are you guys feeling? <laughs> it was so helpful <laughs> yeah. to talk it through together. Okay. So, so with the first house, I did feel like I was in a little slice of paradise, like yeah. being at a resort. Yeah. A five-star so resort. The house probably needs a couple of things updated. Mm -hmm. The second house. I guess let's call it the dream house. The view took our breath away. Garage, my husband will love that. <laughs> but that is $300,000 over your budget. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so with that said, which one did you choose? I have made my decision. In the end, we went with the dream house. Ah, and so we are going to pitch it to my husband. We're going to see if we have a little bit of wiggle room there with the budget. Right. I'm encouraged because I love it so much. Hopefully my husband will agree. That house is move-in ready. We don't have to update anything, paint anything. And so we are going to go with the big, beautiful dream house. This house would be my children's dream. I could imagine inviting all of their friends from school here. Yeah. I definitely feel like this house welcomes children. Yeah. This is so exciting. I love this. He's going to love his 10 car garage. I, I am know. so happy for you guys. I have made my decision and I'm ready to share that with my husband. And thank you for all your advice thank and you. your opinion. So what do you say we call the realtor and make an offer? I had so much fun today with Stephanie and her best friend Tiffany and so excited that she found her forever home. I'm Kelly Edwards. Join us next time as we hunt for more dream homes.